The dirt road leads away from the 10 acre pasture where Yvonne Rodriguez last saw her horse alive. Back in here, nobody would ever have seen them. At the end of the road, next to a palm tree, is where Geronimo was found. What was left of him? Rodriguez got the call from her dad. And he said, don't come, because uh, it's not, it's not very nice. Geronimo had been slaughtered. Not only was my horse stolen, he was butchered, okay, he was tied up to a palm tree. So all these are blood stains here? Yeah. And that from up here to down there, but Geronimo is a type of horse that, my goodness, if you had an apple in, his, in your hand, he was your best friend. The meat had been carved from his bones. This is part of Geronimo's mane? Yep, it is. Animal rights organizations say Geronimo's death is part of an alarming, growing black market for horse meat in South Florida. Richard Cuto examines the remains of another slaughtered horse. He's an investigator with the SPCA. I found a puncture wound under the chin. The horse bled out. Probably took a while for this horse to die. In most cases, and not, then not the the horses are actually butchered alive. Since the first of the year, 17 horses have been found butchered in Miami-Dade County. Two more in Broward County. Police say they have seen cases of horses slaughtered for the meat in the past, but nothing to this level. While police can't confirm a black market exists, they are pretty sure these horse killings were motivated by profit. It appears as though the offender's uh, main goal was not the killing of the animal, but that their main goal was whatever activity they were engaged in post-mortem. It's illegal in the United States to buy or sell horse meat. A delicacy in some Caribbean and Latin American nations, Cuto says it brings up to $40 a pound. But he says the buyers are paying a lot for meat that can make them sick. These animals, these horses, see veterinarians on a monthly basis. They are being pumped with all types of drugs, antibiotics, steroids, tranquilizers. The horse Cuto examined had been led from its stall and killed a few feet away. Its foal in the next stall was left unharmed. They are professionals, Kudo says, in the way the horses are butchered and their remains hidden. Yvonne Rodriguez can attest to that. This is part of the tarp they covered him with? Yeah. And got to help him when they find him. The illegal buying and selling of horse meat has apparently gone on for years in South Florida, but no one has figured out yet why the sudden uptick. Kudo calls it South Florida's dirty little secret. It's a secret no more. John Zarella, CNN. Miami.